Hello and welcome to my EdTech tip of the day. And today we're going to look at how to do a split screen with Google Meet. And this is really important if you're doing remote teaching and you want to have your Google Meet on one side so you can see your students and then what you're presenting on the other screen. So the first thing you need to do is separate the tabs you want in your Google Chrome. And so if I look at my Google Chrome here and my tab is here, this is my presentation. I'm going to drag this off. So I'm just clicking and dragging down and then releasing and it puts it there. Using Alt and Tab, I can go back into my other browser window and then doing the same with my Google Meet. I'm going to drag that off like so. So now I've got different things open. You can see this here with my different windows. Now, if you've got uh, two screens, this is really easy. You can just drag one onto one screen and have the other window on the other screen. And that is very easy. But if you've only got one screen, you then need to put them side by side. So I'm using a Chromebook and the way you can do this is you can grab the browser and just drag it over to the side you want it to go. And as you do so, you can see it creates a rectangle there. I drop it and it moves it. So I'm gonna do that now for my presentation. And I'm gonna do that on the same, just drag it over there and it pings it into that. Um, if you're using a Windows device, you can use the windows and arrow keys. So windows and the left arrow, and that will put it on the left hand side and the windows and the right arrow key, and that will put it on the right hand side. And so obviously now when I'm doing my presentation, I can then present now, share a window. I could do a tab and choose the one I want to share. And so now my students are seeing this and I can see them on the side here. Now, I appreciate you're not going to have a great view. It depends on the size of your screen, uh, how much you'll see. But then you can have what you're trying to show your students here on the left and actually seeing your students here on the right. Unfortunately, if you do want to present, you won't be able to because that will just populate the whole screen and you won't then be able to see your students. So you will have to make sure that whatever you are showing in this window is suitable for what your students need to see.